Smart Grid builds on many of the technologies already used by electric utilities but adds communication and control capabilities that will optimize the operation of the entire electrical grid. The Smart Grid's key components include the residential households, commercial spaces, and industrial players. Starting off with a pilot implementation in one of the small-scale grids, this system shall be available for upscaling and national adoption through a modular approach on its components and infrastructure network. It is also important to note that effective communication between project stations shall ensure uninterruptible, reliable, and quality electric supply for the industrial, commercial, and residential consumers alike. Other than the distribution and communication layer, another one shall be incorporated, the control layer. In charge of logical decision-making, reactive to data gathered via the utility management system. This way, energy flows bi-directionally to and from the consumers and the utility. Ensuring fail-safe mechanisms are in place, 10% reserve energy shall be used only during times of dire need, such as calamities and disasters. The rest, or the 90%, shall be available anytime for distribution. For a specific case, certain cities can implement prioritization in terms of the dedicated grid applications. For example, commercial spaces get more supply compared to residential infrastructures during the morning and the reverse at night. Hospital transport alert level must also be considered in terms of the grid applications. These industrial organizations shall have an effective communication structure with the distributor so as to ensure reliable electrical power and real-time data statistics for monitoring and future applications of electrical distribution schemes. Current deployment of electric grids employs centralized generation and utilizes a one-way communication network which hinders consumers to send inputs to the electric grid sector. The utility on the other end has the ability to monitor individual consumption of consumers in a small district or geographical location. Consumers using power outages and interruptions shall be traceable and from these instances, the central server shall be able to make decisions with whether to cut off the grid certain parts during power outages. Thus, it is important to consider that the proposed smart grid not only deals with distribution of power, but also transfer of useful information. Consumers who, at the same time, can supply electricity via their own energy harvester infrastructure can participate and be compensated through the real-time data communications as to how much power they are generating, consuming, and storing. Through monitoring, the utility shall be able to offer rebates for consumers now supplying energy back to the system, thus making the smart grid flexible, making the energy available to consumers when they need it, where they need it. This calls to mind alternative paths for distribution should there arise any problems on power lines. These very same consumers can be part of the decentralized system of distribution by being charging stations and eventually suppliers of electricity, though sometimes intermittent yet environmentally friendly sources, wind, solar, hydro, to the smart grid itself. The current deployment of electric utility grid in the Philippines can be built upon to provide new, revolutionary, and automated services in terms of power distribution and generation as well. This idea opened up the notion of adopting a smart management system, which operationally provides prioritization parameters dependent on a set of relevant protocols and considerations which may include, but are not limited to, the geographical location, economic function of the consumers, 
and even calamity-induced necessities. With the utilization of smart meters, we propose to merge network data communications and power distribution, employing lines for electricity and at the same time having dedicated paths for information and statistics. With the added functionalities of being able to optimize energy efficiency, balance supply and demand, limit emission, reduce operation cost reduction, and ultimately maximize the use of the utility. The smart grid poses indeed promising prospects for the existing electric transmission infrastructure. With the smart management system in place, the development of new framework architectures for transmission networks will be mainly due to the comprehensive automation technologies of power substations. In contrast with the smart meter's function to measure the electric power consumption of households from the power distributor's end, a system shall be adopted to monitor consumption patterns of individual consumers so as to be able to determine possible sources of excess electricity generated from harvesting households and be able to address the needs of more needing consumers as applied to their declared status, whether they are residential, commercial, or industrial, or any other special functions like government infrastructure or national security deployments. This system from data and statistics gathered shall be proactive instead of just being reactive and self-healing in terms of electric power patterns and thus will be able to predict certain occurrences and address them appropriately. Each of the smart homes shall have their own identifiable access points and unique recognition parameter which shall be verified by the grid in which they are connected to, thus eliminating the risk of electricity theft through illegal tapping. These shall be applied via sensors and providers will be able to determine possible illegal wire tapping. We now take a virtual tour to our own version of Smart Home. This service-oriented, automated, and intelligent facility is capable of making decisions reactive to power attributes, consumption parameters, and characteristics alike, controlled, regulated, and monitored by smart devices. This smart home is a technology brought about by the ever-evolving utility management system where power distribution and consumption of the elements in the house contribute to the development of logical decision trees which can then suggest and prescribe necessary actions to be done in order to minimize electric costs, factor in safety considerations, and efficiently utilize the available supply of electrical power. Communication among the devices which consume power revolves around data networking over wireless connections to and from a central device which monitors the status of each of the connected devices within the smart home. Networks within a smart home shall utilize the standard IEEE 802.15.1 Bluetooth connection over short distances coupled with IEEE 802.15.4 ZigBee characterized by its low power consumption. These smart homes shall also have IP-powered services such as controlling appliance remotely upon the addition of smart tags and plug-ins, online customer portals and real-time electricity rates, and early warning systems for power cutoffs. Appliance in homes shall be connected to smart plug-ins which, in turn, shall monitor the individual consumption in real time. Another interface, say a server or a customer portal to be found in every home, monitors the overall consumption and employs electric power saving schemes in the home. The central management system allows its users to set priority among the connected devices using the customer interface. Each house shall be assigned a specific 
automatic IP address by the service provider which will be accessible even remotely to monitor the home network via these unique identification access points. Also, through this, electricity rates and warning notifications shall be available as supplied by the utility grid. Maintained through the network, independent convenient outlet shall be connected to a centralized smart meter accessible to the utility personnel via Wi-Fi technology. According to NEMA, Smart Grid builds on many of the technologies already used by electric utilities but adds communication and control capabilities that will optimize the operation of the entire electrical grid. This will be made possible upon the utilization of wireless technologies relaying real-time and relevant information gathered and maintained in a central database for recording purposes. These data shall be available for access by consumers, providing them with tools for energy monitoring regarding their consumption, usage, and even monetary rebates. 